In this video, we'll continue our look at autoplay patterns and how they can be used in conjunction with drum fills in the drummer at appropriate points to add interest to a song. In this example, we'll work from a very basic drum pattern and a simple bass autoplay pattern, tapping with one finger on C, G, A minor and F, the 1, 5, 6, 4 chord progression. As we learned in a previous video, we can add drum fills by sliding to the right on the drum fill slider. Generally, drum fills are added on bar 8. We can then record the bass guitar part, tapping with one finger on C, G and A minor. While still using autoplay pattern 3 with the bass, we can tap with two fingers to add a variation to the F chord. The variation on the autoplay pattern and the drum fill will both occur at bar 8. We could also tap with two fingers at bar 4 when on the G chord and also add a drum fill for more variety here. So let's listen to this with the addition of some chords and a guitar loop from the Apple Loops library acting as a melody. You'll notice that the drum fills and the autoplay pattern variations both fall at bar 4 and bar 8. These occur in the gap between the melodic phrases and help to bookend 4 bar or 8 bar sections of music.